Hey beautiful people, um, it's Ubi Tapo here and I have a very quick actually prophetic word that I want to release. Um, before I release it, I just want to say hi. I hope that everyone is, sorry about that, I hope that everyone is doing well. Um, yeah, I just hope that we are all at peace right now. I hope that um, with each day there's um, more clarity and more... Um, yeah, just, just just clarity and peace and direction um, that God is just downloading within our hearts. So yeah, let me pray and then we get into the word quickly. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you so much, Papa, for the opportunity to fellowship as brothers and sisters. I pray, Lord, that you please anoint my mouth, Father God, as I release this word. I pray that those that it is for may they um, be drawn to this video in the name of Jesus. And I pray that um, those who need a word, but this word is not necessarily for them. May you please direct them, Mudimo, to um, the word that is um, appropriate and is seasonal for them in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, and we lift your name up on high. We thank you, God, that you have not forgotten us. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that you are our comforter. We thank you for the God that um, we have just entered a season, Father God, where you will cater for us, Medina, where you will cater for our needs in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we lift your name up on high. Amen. Okay, guys. So um, there's a couple of scriptures that I um, I read that um, allowed me to hear from the Lord about the specific word. So what I'll be doing for this video is I'll just leave the scriptures below in the description box. Um, but there are just four things um, that the Lord has been speaking to me about in these couple of days. And I believe that this is this is a word for someone as well, as much as it's a word for myself. So um, just a disclaimer, it might not be for you. Please take it to the Lord to confirm it, to um, expand it and all those beautiful things. So the word that I have for you guys today is that comfort is coming. The Lord wants to tell some of you that comfort is coming. Um, oh, I wish I actually had my phone here. But if you if you have time, please just go and look at the definition of comfort. It, You know, there, there's some words that we, we know what it means and we, we think we understand it completely. Until we like do a little bit of research and you realize that, wow, it's actually, um, it, there's, there's a lot, it's very packed, you know? So, um, if I, just to paraphrase, um, on the internet, the definition of comfort is to almost relieve physical relief or, 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 or emotional relief or relief, sorry, from something that has either given you pain or has restrained you. So some of you, the Lord is bringing comfort from the pain that you have been in, with its physical comfort, emotion, um, with its physical pain or emotional pain. But for others, the comfort is coming from a sense of lack of restriction. You've been feeling restricted, um, and there will be the comfort is coming to almost bring the freedom from this restraint in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, the scriptures that I would like you to please go and, and take time to study for yourself is Job 1, um, verse 1 to 3, Job 42, verse 10 to 17, Isaiah 54, verse 11 to 15, and Psalms 126, um, the whole chapter of 126. So yes, guys, comfort is coming. Comfort is coming. Um, so not only is this comfort coming in the form of restoration as well. So some of you, um, the comfort, the comfort may come um, in, a, in, in a financial way. The comfort may come um, through friendship, through relationship, whether it's family, friends, partnerships. Um, but comfort is definitely coming in the form also of restoration. So there are things that you um, that have caused you pain because of loss. And the comfort is coming to restore those things. Um, you know, it's, it's very funny because a couple of, actually, I think yesterday, the Lord just asked me, you know, you, you keep on saying that I'm going to restore things. I'm going to restore things. But 
Do you even know what you have lost? You know, um, because we, I, I guess for me, it felt like I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm look, I'm like, Lord, you're going to restore, you're going to restore. But I am not actually sure of exactly what I have lost. So I actually had to take some time and it was very quick, but I just had to take some time just to remind myself that, okay, yes, they, I, I've lost this, I've lost this, I've lost this, I've lost this. And that means that it is mine. So some of you have lost um, confidence. The Lord wants to restore that. Some of you, the, 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 you've lost um, a sense of security. Some of you have lost a sense of trust in people. The Lord wants to restore that. Some of you have lost opportunities, time, love, and money. That is what the Lord wants to restore. Um, so, so what some of you have lost your health, the Lord wants to restore it. So take time to actually ask yourself, what is it that I have lost? So that when the Lord begins to restore it, you're able to say, that is my God, that my God is doing that. So yes, comfort is coming in the form of restoration. Um, and this coming comfort, the second point, this coming comfort will bring joy. It will bring honor to you in the name of Jesus. It will also bring us, bring a sense of celebration. It will bring a sense of sustenance and peace. Um, third point, and this is something that the Lord emphasized to me in a dream that I had a couple of weeks ago, actually, um, the upcoming comfort guys is bringing love. So for some of you, maybe not for all of you, but for some of you, the coming comfort is coming in the form of love. Yes, love from God. Yes, love from the Holy Spirit, but also love from a, a covenant, covenant type of love. So one thing that the Lord emphasized to me in this particular dream is that this comfort is coming. And these are the words he, he used to explain it to me. He said it's coming um, as acacia love. And I know that there's no such thing as acacia love. So I was like, Lord, what do you, what do you mean? And, and it's, it's, he, he made me, he reminded me rather that, um, acacia wood was what was used to build the Ark of the Covenant. So this acacia love, which he also said, it's the purest love of them all is coming in the form of coven, um, of comfort. So for some of you, the Lord is bringing comfort in a, in, in a covenant type of love, in a pure type of love. So you will need to go to the Father to ask him, is this love from him specifically, this covenant pure type of love? Or is it um, a covenant type of love between you and a specific person? So only the Lord can answer that, guys. But that is something that he stressed and emphasized that this coming comfort is also coming in the form of love. Not any love, it's acacia love. It's the purest love. What does this mean? It's a covenant type of love in the name of Jesus. And last but not least, this coming comfort requires you to be patient. This coming comfort requires you to be patient. You might not receive it when you expect to receive it but you will receive it in the mighty name of jesus so i hope that this um has blessed someone um i love you guys so much and i'm praying for you guys and yeah this upcoming month guys it's an amazing month um the lord is definitely going to show himself in this month let's just keep our faith up and yeah bye guys